Hi, it's Patrick here from Reliable Hydroponics. Uh, we're back to our comparison, um, LED to uh, T5. Um, right, so we're going to look at the kale. We've got one kale in there, two on that one. I'm just going to get them out so we can have a look. So that's how long it's been growing. Um, right, I mean, let's have a look. LED. Yeah, it looks a bit limey. These ones... Maybe we've been feeding it, it's in an auto pot, so it's been getting regular feeds. So they're all roughly on the same mix of feed, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, this looks great, really. You know, I'm happy with that. I think, look, if you're looking at it, there's more leaf on this. Color wise, she's a bit liney, but still, it's a nice, decent sized plant. This compared is a little bit smaller, you know. She's running on 180 watts. This thing is up, they're telling us, um, comparison to 600 watts, but she's running at about 320 watts. So not quite double, but near enough. And then this is one we've been growing outside. So we put this outside in January. It's now the, nearly the end of February. I've just put in a few. I mean, we just dump our old leaves on top of that just as a bit. Of, I mean, it's a bit smaller, but I think uh, the color's better consistently better color all around. So outside, you know, free energy really. So um, yeah, there you go. Make up your own mind. If you've got the tent with the lights, then you can grow your own food indoors. Keep your body safe from the toxins that are out there. Tune in again. Bye bye.